Hey, this is Professor Dave from dragandropcode.com, and I'm going to show you how to build a soundboard app. In this case, it's going to show play speeches by MLK, Shirley Chisholm, the first woman to run for president of the United States, a black woman, and, and uh, Kamala Harris, the, the vice president of the United States. So, you know, you click on the picture and it plays uh, their, one of their speeches. Ladies and gentlemen. And you know, my okay, so anyway, that's what we're going to build. We are going to start from scratch. I'm going to log in to thunkable.com. You're going to want to get a free account at thunkable.com to, to get started. And I got a bunch of projects, but I'm just, you know, you're going to just create a new project. I'm going to call this one Dream 2022. Category is going to be education. You might, you might make a soundboard app for, you know, history class or something. And I'm going to create this project. And it's going to come out blank. And what I, you know, what I got to do is get all my media I need, you know, meaning the pictures and the sound clips. And then I got to build the coding to make it so when you click on those buttons, it actually plays. So I'm going to start off by just dragging in, in three buttons. This is the um, Thunkable Designer. And it's kind of where you lay out your app. And we're going to forget about these other two for a second. We'll just focus on MLK to start off. And I'm going to rename this button MLK button. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the text on it. And what I want to do is bring in a picture. Uh, you know, but first I got to you. I got to get the picture. So you could use your own media. You can go get them on from Google or on the web. Uh, but I do have a bunch of media set up for you. And what you want to do is open up a browser to drag and drop code dot com or drag drop code dot com. Okay, this is my site where all the tutorials are. And if you go to Thunkable book and chapter two, and then you can grab all these images. So I'm just going to quickly with my Mac, I do control click, I think it's right click on Windows. And I set up a little folder. So I'm going to stick them all in the same folder. And I'm just control clicking and all I'm doing is getting getting these these this media onto my computer. Okay, and you can do the same thing if you want to use the media that I've set up. So I've got three pictures, and then I've got the MLK speech. So I'm going to save audio as in this case. And I'm going to also save a speech by Kamala Harris, which you could, you know, you could go find whatever speeches you want or whatever images you want. And we're going to actually use a, you know, we're going to upload all these pictures and sound files that I just downloaded into our app, but then I'll also show you how to use a URL directly. And we'll do that for Shirley's speech, okay? So anyway, all I've done so far is got stuff on to my computer. And now I'm gonna go over here and there's this assets, assets area. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna upload all the stuff that I just got um, onto my computer. I'm gonna upload it into my app. So here's these five files, three of them are images, two of them are sound clips, and I'm going to bring those into my app. Oh, here, let me move this guy off of here. And I can just drag these guys in, there it goes. And voila, I've got my five images. They're in my app, so they're not going to, they're not really being used yet in my app, but my app knows about it. Okay, so now when I come over here for this first button and I can go to the background picture and I can choose, I don't want the MP3 file, I want mlk.jpg and you'll notice there's, there's his picture shows up. Okay, and of course I can, you know, with the drag and drop interface of Thunkable, I can kind of mess around with this picture and drag it. Uh, let me just show you a couple properties. Resize mode is a key one. There's a bunch of choices you can make. I don't know if you remember in the in the app I showed you, we actually did a repeat, so it showed the picture multiple times. But you could, you know, you could do contains. You know, that's going to be ugly. We might have to get rid of the blue. But you know, for for him, we'll do repeat. And you'll notice it's also rounded. We can get rid of that effect, and that's actually the border radius. And if I choose that to zero, it's going to go back to being a rectangle. I think a hundred is a is an exact circle, and zero is a rectangle. Okay, so here's my, you know, component called MLK button. If I click on it, nothing's going to happen, but at least I got the picture on there how, how I want it, okay? 
So let's do the first behavior. And I'm gonna to go to blocks. And essentially when the MLK button is clicked, I want to play a speech. I'm gonna go down to the sound folder and there's this play block. By default, it brings in the first media file it found. Uh, it's kind of dumb. It should find the first audio file it finds. But anyway, I can go ahead and choose MLK.mp3, which is the I Have a Dream speech. Okay, cool. So, you know, let's just test out my first behavior. If I click, I have a dream. I got, got that working. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the designer and let's just do this second button. And, you know, I'm going to get rid of the text again. I'm going to make this the um, Chisholm button. And I am going to choose. Uh, Chisholm.png, okay, resize it, okay, and I'm going to get rid of the rounded corners. I'm going to show you, we could have copied the MLK one, that would have been a little smarter, um, but there's the Shirley one, and I am going to mess around a little bit with resize mode. I think I'm going to try cover. Uh, it's kind of cutting off our head. I guess I could do contains. Uh, let's do cover, and then I'm just going to make this a little bigger. Okay. Um, so anyway, we've got two of our buttons, and now let me show you how to how we're going to work her sound. And you know, so the MLK button for the Chisholm button, when it's clicked, we actually want to we still want to play something. Okay, but you you know, you know we didn't. There's no MP3 or MP4 for uh, Shirley's speech, and as, as you'll remember at DragonDropCode.com, you know there's this URL that that is her speech, and and that you know I made a little Bitly. Bitly is where you can make short URLs. The real clip is is an actual MP3 file. So if you're going to use sound clips, make sure you don't get the web page that has a sound clip on it. Make sure the extension of your URL is an actual MP3. Now, when you use these short clips, it gets rid of the extension, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab this short one, and I just copied it. And what I want is a red text block, and I'm going to stick that in here, and then I'm going to Command-V paste um, that Shirley clip. Okay, and that's really a short URL for that longer clip which is an MP3 file on the web someplace. Okay. Um, now if I test, uh, I click on Shirley Ladies and, gentlemen, and it plays her speech. Brothers and sisters Notice if I click on MLK, they're both playing. I'll show you how to fix that in a second too. Okay, so we've got two of the buttons. Let's go ahead and do Kamala. And here's my third button. Oops, I'm just gonna drag it up. And I want to choose its background picture as Kamala.png. I'm going to resize it. OK, once again, I'll choose um, the border radius of 0. And I'm going to choose a different resize mode, which is contains, or sorry, which is a uh, cover. Okay, and I'll make it just big enough to show uh, Kamala. And notice I've still got that text on there. I'm going to get rid of the text for the button, the word button, and change that and rename her to Kamala button. Okay, um, I want to do a couple more things. I'm going to do a screen background color of black. And um, I'm just going to put a little label in here. I got to be careful because I think the default is 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 black text, um, but I'm going to change the color to white, and then as the actual text, I'm going to say, you know, click uh, picture to play speech. Okay, make sure you kind of make sure this is wide enough. And also make sure this is centered. There we go. So you see that red line, it's centered it. 
And then also with the label, you kind of want to make sure not only is the whole component centered, but you want the text within it to be centered. And, and that looks a little bit better. Okay, so we've got, you know, kind of things working. Let's go to the blocks. We need to add um, the Kam Kamala button. And, you know, one, you know, I can just kind of copy this one and, you know, then make sure you choose this little triangle and actually change which button you you care about. And for the Kamala button, of course, we want to play her speech. Okay, things are pretty cool, but, you know, we got that overlapping speeches if we click on all of them. Um, you know, one simple way to fix that is to go to sound and we just kind of want to stop two of them. So I'm going to copy the stop. And for the Kamala button, I want to stop MLK and I want to stop um, Chisholm. And, you know, maybe they're not playing. If, if they're not playing, the stop doesn't hurt anything. Um, but we want to stop everybody else and play Kamala. And then kind of the same thing for the MLK button. I want to stop uh, Chisholm, Chisholm speech and I want to stop uh Kamala speech so let's see I need one more stop down here I don't want that and I want to choose uh Kamala so stop the two women speeches and play MLK and then for Chisholm I want to stop I'm um, command C command B I want to stop MLK and I want to stop Kamala you know, I don't, you know, I don't know if they're playing, but if they are, I'm going to stop them. Okay. And I think I'm good. And so like, if I now play or preview this, I could play Shirley's and speech. And if I click on more. MLK, I notice her speech ended in his, his play. Um, you can also mess around with sound. You, you'll notice you can pause things. So let's say I wanted to right now, if I click on, surely it's going to play her speech from the beginning even if i played it before um, but if i wanted to instead pause it you know when somebody else starts getting played i could do that and then i've got to check to see if it's paused if i want to resume it so it gets a little tricky um, and we'll get into if statements in the next next tutorial next chapter uh, but anyway here's kind of a i have a dream app um, and with, with three speeches being played, you can add some more labels if you want um, to kind of give it a title and whatnot. Um, you might even add a, an X button, which stops all the, all the speeches. Um, but anyway, this is the basic way you build a soundboard with Thunkable and the drag and drop interface.